And my mum, well, she was great. She said, she, she, I can't remember what we said to the school that I was ill or something. And I went down at the age of 15 <laughs> and I worked uh, for a week down at Brackleshaw Bay with all these people who were professional entertainers. And I remember uh, the whole thing about Holly Camp, of course, was the girls. Yeah. And there was these girls coming up to me thinking, and of course, everyone thought I was 18, so there's these girls coming up to me thinking, oh, he's a young one, he's only 18. I wasn't even bloody 16, it was great! <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it! So that's, where, that's where you served your apprenticeship, so to speak. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. <laughs> what was the, the writing in the book about your most embarrassing moment there? Oh, oh, you know that? Okay, this was on the Isle of Wight, right? I think it was 1982, 83. It was a time the Falklands War had just come to an end. And we had a, a phone call from head office uh, to say, that the Canberra would be returning back from the Falklands, all right, absolutely true, this is it, and it would be past in the Isle of Wight. Now, Shane, if you want to bring some of the punters down to this little bay where on the west side of the island, you'd see the Canberra go into port. So I'm thinking, bloody great. So I got the microphone the night before, going, ladies and gentlemen, attention, please. Oh, it's Shane. All right, love, he's lovely, anyway. Um, <laughs> and I'm going, don't forget, if any of you like to come and meet me at reception, at six o'clock in the morning, we'll go and make our way down to the beach because the camera's coming, the camera's coming past. So, come, and it'll, oh, that lovely Shane's going to break, see the big boat, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so the following morning, the following morning, word has gone round, not only our holiday camp, but another holiday camp up the road, which was Warner's. I've got 600 people that have made their own bunting. They've got Union Jacks, they've got crates of lager, champagne. And it's genuine. The, the camera's coming past. I'm going to go and see the camera, bring all the punters. And we're all onto this beach, which is about the same size as this stage. All people like that go, we're all Britannia, <laughs> Britannia goes away. And this is, and this is right, and it's about seven o'clock in the morning. There's a lone mist over the sea, right? And with everyone, shh, quiet, everyone, shh, quiet. Look at the boat, the boat's coming, the camera, shh. Anyway, this is bloke's pipe. Like, I remember him, big fat guy, right? And he had big, he had big, big chub with red hair. And he was like, I've got a radio. I've got a radio. We can hear it on the radio. Do you want to listen to the radio, Shane? I've got a radio. I've got, all right, give, give me the radio. Uh, making its way now past the Isle of Wight is, of course, the troops making a welcome return into Portsmouth from the Falklands. And in the distance, through the fog, we've seen this big ship. It's the Canberra. Of course, it's the Canberra. People are now teary. <laughs> They're coming back! Roll Britannia! <laughs> Britannia <laughs> Anyway, we all start waving. It's big ship. <sighs> Come on, the soldiers are back. We're proud to be British. And all of a sudden, we see these people waving back to us. Yes, it's a welcome return. Roll oh, God save. Anyway, this ship comes through the fog, and it was the car ferry going to Cowes. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So, we're around the camera, they've gone the other way. We've gone the around the other bloody way, we've missed it. 